In this lecture, we are going to understand a very popular question that is how to determine MCB or miniature circuit breaker rating when we want to connect it for any circuit. Before going into the detailed discussion, first we need to know some elementary specifications of the MCBs. See, in this first picture, there is written B. B is a category. Whereas in the second picture it is given as C. C is also a category. This is called curve. I am coming to this at the latter part of this lecture. 16. This 16 means the current rating of this MCB is 16. Whereas in this picture it is 32. That means the current rating of this MCB is 32 ampere. Now in both the picture there is one thing is written that is 10,000. This is called withstanding capacity of MCB that means beyond this current if you try to flow it through this MCB the MCB will burn out that's why it is the withstanding capacity in the first picture this is called single pole MCB or SP MCB and here in the second picture it is called double pole MCB or DP MCB clear in this type of MCB in picture number one only the phase is given production and in this kind of MCBs that is DP both phase and neutral is given production clear now before determination of MCB rating first we need to do a special exercise that is called load calculation this is the stepping stone for calculating the MCB rating clear suppose we have in a circuit 10 number of tube lights which are individual of 40 watt in rating next is we have two refrigerators which is 150 watt of each and 60 watt ratings six ceiling fans so the total number of items are here is 18 and their total wattage for calculating the individual ratings we get 1060 watt clear now first we assume that all these loads are connected with single phase supply so our total power is 1060 watt single phase voltage is we assume is as 230 volt our power equation is total power is equal to for single phase vi cos phi clear the standard value of cos phi is equal to 0.8 now P equal to VI cos phi and we are putting the value of P is equal to 1060 voltage as we have assumed 230 volt I we don't know and cos phi is 0.8 in case of MCB rating as I have said earlier the rating will be solely on the value of current our main objective is to determine the value of the current so that we can determine the rating of the MCB so here the value of the current we determined is 5.76 ampere now here is two things is very important first what the value we have achieved by our calculation has to be multiplied with 1.5 for lighting load and with 2 for motor load the requirement of multiplying this 1.5 or 2 is there is many faults frequently occurs in power system and that sustains for maybe for millisecond or microsecond so if you are not multiplying with these safety factors then your breaker or MCB will go on tripping hundreds of time in a day and for the sake of this millisecond or microsecond fault your system is not going to be burnt out or there is any kind of losses that you will encounter so this is very important factor for that it is multiplied now many of you have heard that 25% tolerance or 20% is enough but my dear friend whatever I have said is based on electricity rule go for any electricity rule of any standard government follows you will find these ratings not these ratings 
this is not right if you are facing any inspection working as a consultant then you will never find any proper justification for this kind of safety factor so you have to multiply it 1.5 for lighting load and 2 for motor load now the story has not ended here so after multiplying it with 1.5 we get 8.64 ampere now this ampere rating mcb is not available in the market you may find 1 ampere 2 ampere 4 ampere even 3 ampere in some company 6 ampere 10 16 20 25 32 40 and 63 this is the range of mcb available in the market so you have to find the mcb which is available next to 8.64 ampere higher than 8.64 ampere that means 10 ampere will be suitable for your circuit you should not go for the below level mcb which is market available this is perfectly wrong you should go for the next higher level which is available in the market clear so 10 ampere is your mcb rating and the same thing is for model load just multiply it with 2 instead of 1.5 and you will get the rating next is uh, sometimes we are confused by different types of curve available with the mcb now what are these curves there is mainly b curve c curve and d curve mcb available in the market b curve where mcb trips at three to five times of the full load current these are mostly the light loads which are resistive in nature next is c curve c curve where the mcb trips at the 5 to 10 times of the full load current and where its application it is inductive load and finally is d curve where mcb trips at 10 to 15 times of the full load current and it is generally used for motor load x-ray machine load okay this is the motor load so in this case you have to use d curve mcb so i think all your confusions regarding this mcb selection is cleared if you have any doubt please mention in the comment section below thank you